Okay, so we're going to try to do our first voiceover. I think I have to do it in one shot on this camera. I don't know. Either way, I could not record the volume because the store music was way too loud. So I had to take the volume off. They definitely had a bunch of Mother's Day flowers. They were all really pretty. They had this bicycle at the dollar spot, but I wasn't sure exactly what to use it for. So I passed on it, but it was really adorable. They definitely had a lot of Father's Day stuff. If you are ready to get Father's Day crossed off of your list, they had a lot of options. I like these little drink containers. These picnic baskets were, they felt cheaply made, so I passed on them, but I thought they were cute. This reversible serving tray, I did pick up one of these. I thought that that was awesome. That was reversible, two for one, loved it. The fairy stuff was cute too, but Dollar Tree has a bigger selection, so I skipped on those two. I normally do skip on them here. The welcome sign was cute, just had nowhere to put it. It did come with its own hardware, which was nice. These, I have tried these before, and in my opinion, they're really hard to wash, so I did not pick them up again, and I don't have the ones that I bought anymore but they are a cool idea if you want to make your own those silicone cups which i'm going to show you guys in a minute there goes another one of the patterns for those those silicone cups i did pick up one i am curious to see how well they will wash and how well they will hold up they had the blue they had like the forest green and the coral i think i picked up this one the forest green one but i'm not exactly sure i'd have to go look it's been a long morning but they were cool nonetheless. These flamingo cups were really cool too. But that is the only one they had. And the straw was messed up. So I skipped on those. If you've seen the coconut cups. They were huge. I thought they would be awesome for a party. But I did skip on those too. These I picked up before. I still use mine. I do still suggest those. They are worth it. Put makeup brushes in there. That's what I do. The hair wrap. I don't suggest. Every time I wash those, they get the little fuzzy bowl things on there and they're hard to get off. So I skipped on those. I did pick up one of these Bluetooth speakers. I'm kind of curious how it's going to hold up. I thought it would be cool to bring it to like the beach or the park. I picked up that one in the pink right there. We'll see how well they do. They had a lot of these picks. So many different colors, and I think they were all a dollar right there. I think below there may have been some for three, but all right there, I believe, were a dollar. These baskets I've seen people put in their living rooms and put, like, remote controls in them and stuff like that. They are really cute, and they seem really well made. I didn't pick up one because I don't know where it would go, but they did seem really well made and a decent size for only $5. This book. This book almost got me. It's a recipe book and I thought it was amazing. I skimmed through it. I did like the recipes in there. I ended up putting it back because the book alone was like $50. I'll show you guys the back. It was on sale for 30% off, but I still felt like that was an extremely high price for a recipe book. So I did put it back. Oh, there it goes. $40 in the USA. I did put it back, but I did love that book. Here goes all their summer, well not all their summer stuff because it was picked through, but some of their summer stuff. I still have a picnic blanket from last year. It looks like a hamburger that I bought. It's still great. It's still holding up well. We use it quite often all over and at the beach. We've used it at the park and it holds up really well. So I do recommend those picnic bl baskets, not baskets, blankets, those picnic blankets. I like that one, the popsicle one. I was very tempted to get another one, but I still have one. It's still in good condition. So there was no reason to pick up one. Those drink containers are really cool. My family's trying to get me to pick up one of those, but I don't think I would use it enough. This tray is something I did pick up. I thought it was awesome. It's two serving trays. I believe they're both dishwasher safe. They're a nice size. I think you could use them all summer long. I like them. These coolers were something I kept going back and forth on. They're awesome. The top is a hard top, and there is cup holders on the top, which I think are really cool. They are a decent size. I did pass on them, but I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for doing that because I really wanted one. I love those rain that rainbow dispenser. That was pretty cool. These bowls, they look good. I think they would work if you're bringing something to a party, but I don't think they're going to last long, so I did skip on those. Those water bottles are awesome. My kids drink way too much water. They would be filling that up all the time, but they were awesome. 
these plates I did pick up and I picked them up because I like them and they are dishwasher safe. I don't know if you guys can see that. They are dishwasher safe and I thought they would be fun for the summertime. Just something new to add to um, our collection. If you see right there, we did buy a KitchenAid. It was Chase's and the kids' Mother's Day gift to me. I always wanted one, but they are so expensive. And finally, Chase was like, get one. It's Mother's Day. Get one. Spend the money. Splurge a little bit on yourself. Here goes some more coolers. I like that one, how it's kind of open at the top. Maybe it does have a zipper top, and I'm just not seeing it. These ones, these igloo ones, are at the bottom right there. So expensive, but I've heard that they are worth it to put them, invest the money into. I haven't picked up one yet, but because I keep going back and forth, but I heard they're worth the investment. This sign, I didn't realize it was double-sided. On one side, it says, hello, summer. On the other side, it says, sun fun. I think that would be cool if you had a pool to, like, hang on your fence or something. I don't have anything like that. No real place to put it, but I did think that was a pretty cool sign. These little plants, that ice cream, metal ice cream truck was pretty cool. A three set of fruit pictures, pretty cool. I don't decorate a lot for summer, so I really don't buy the decor stuff. These ice molds were interesting. I see a lot of people make like uh, ice molds with mint in there, ice with mint in there, and cucumber now. I'm not that type of person, but I thought it was cool. This thing, amazing. I wanted one of these things. I'm trying not to say cool a million times, but I really wanted one of these things, but I don't have a pool. These are like a beanbag chair for your pool. You float on them. They had the watermelon one right there, and then they had that lemon one. They looked awesome. If I had a pool, I would have bought one. I don't have a pool, though. Uh, these are something that we were debating on picking up, too. The beanbag toss games, the cornhole games, they're just expensive. $80 for that. I think you can make one a lot cheaper for a lot cheaper. They don't look hard to make. A bunch of pool floats. This cup I picked up. I love this cup, and it is dishwasher safe. I absolutely love that rainbow look, summer look to it. I would have picked up one of each, but I really do not need it, so I only picked up one. We do have that frog cup right there, and we've been using it for about a month now. It's holding up really well. I love the orange and the cat. Really cool. I don't know. You would really need a long straw cleaner for those twisty cups, but they're cool. Some mats. I'll stop saying cool now. The chairs were awesome. They had a lot of bright patterns, a lot of bright fun patterns this year. A lot of stuff for the kids to do if you're entertaining children. The mesh bags for the beach, the children's chairs. I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for not picking up one of those, well, two of those actually for my kids this year. I think they're tired of uh, sitting on the sand when we go to the beach. And though we bring a blanket, you know blankets still get sandy. Here goes the pup section for summer. That would be way too small for Hero. I am thinking about getting one of these pet cooler mats, though. He does overheat quite often, and I think it would be worth it. So I am going back and forth on that, too. Pup ice cream. Awesome. A lot of the ice cream places around our way offer dog ice cream. So we don't really need that, but that's an awesome option. I love this ball. It's a pet bowl with a lid, so we could bring food with us when we go, when we bring him with us. I thought that was also awesome. He has a water bowl, so he doesn't need that, but I like the food dish with the covering. All the bright colors for summer. You got a treat bag, you got a harness. Anything you could possibly want to dress your pet up for the summer is here. Let's see what else we got. This is the gardening section. Nothing too crazy here. Wasn't big about the colors. They are metal. Those diggers, by the way. Probably worth it. But not too big about the colors this year in the gardening section. Of course, you have all those seeds. I love these statues. These garden statues. They're a little over budget for me. But they are heavy. They are substantial. I do think they're worth it if you like them. They do seem to be selling out rather quickly. These are cute. But we have like way too many plants growing to just have those all of these signs and all those signs do come with hardware i didn't realize that that black thing was a bird feeder i probably would have picked it up because i need a new bird feeder i thought it was like a planner because they did have a planner like that a few years ago but that one said it was a bird feeder 
all these lamps. Oh, I love all these lamps. There's not a single one I dislike. I love all of them. I don't have the porch for them, though. Our porch is small. We don't have a deck. We don't have a patio or anything. But if I did, I absolutely love all these lamps. I think they're all really well made. A little expensive, but you'll have them year after year. So it's an investment piece that'll keep paying off. Those were awesome. I think they were new this year, but I could be wrong. Looking around, looking around. These were cool. I own two of these. I own a dog one and a cat one. It looks like the cat one sold out and they never brought it back, but they did bring back the dog one. They are succulent planters. They do have a hole at the bottom and they do have a rubber stopper if um, you want to water your plants thoroughly. These planters were awesome. They're so big. I love that patience one. I probably should have got that too. These are cool, but they never grow for me. I don't know if anybody else could get them to grow nicely like the pictures look like, but I they always look really sad when I try to grow them, so I stop buying them. This bench, this bench was $100, I show you guys. They are stackable. I think that bench is definitely worth it. I have one similar outside. It's bigger. It actually came from a church, I believe. Um, I have one outside. I definitely think they were worth it for $100. They felt sturdy. They looked really well put together. That terrarium is pretty cool. Not for $50, but it is pretty cool. And these plants, I don't know if they were seriously $20 because they don't look like they're worth $20, but they were awesome in themselves too. Definitely a lot of decor if you love plants. You can have so many different kinds of fake plants around your house. Here we are bringing up on another cooler. Is this the hearth and hand or the... Yeah, this is the hearth and hand cooler. $150 for this cooler, but it has the bottle opener. I believe it has a lock and all. I heard good things about that cooler. It's just $150 is a lot of money. These were awesome, and I was going to pick them up, but I don't make my own ice cream, so I don't think it's worth it. These are ice cream pints, and they are not plastic. They felt like a ceramic to me. They probably said it on the tag, but I don't remember. There goes the other KitchenAid that I was going to choose between. I ended up picking up the baby blue one because I like the retro feel of it. But they did have like a dark green forest one, which I thought was also pretty cool. And they had their gray one, but I feel like their gray one is always around. Hearth and Hand. I have picked up Hearth and Hand bedding before and it has not lasted for me, especially for the price. I think a guest bedroom would be awesome to put hearth and hand in but not one that you're going to be using every single night it just it didn't work out for me here goes some of their candles that they have i didn't smell i only smelled one candle you guys would be proud of me normally i spend a lot of time there smelling all those candles this door stopper i feel like is a statement piece i do think it's awesome it's 15 dollars. it is super heavy i already have a door stopper so i didn't pick that one up but i thought it was cool all of their all of their paintings, all of their wall art. I think all of their wall art is worth it. I think they are great investment pieces. I have quite a few paintings and wall art pieces from Target and I just switch them around. I always keep them switching them around. They've lasted for a long time now. So I always recommend buying wall art from Target. Some more candles. They were pretty cool in themselves. Logan was walking by. And my kids were fascinated with everything at Target today. These wire baskets were awesome. I've seen people put blankets and throw pillows in them and kind of put them like next to their couch. I eventually would like to pick up one, but I don't have a place for it right now. These were, I think these were wicker baskets. I could have been wrong, but they didn't feel like they were going to last to me. And for $50... I passed on those too. I love their pillows now. I wish I would have waited to get pillows for my couch because I do love the pillows that they have out. I like the ones on the bottom right there, the greenish bluish ones. I wish I would have waited. I did not, but they have so many different ones out now. More of their fake greenery. Reverie. Cool. Reverie full. Even more pillows. Um, so many different designs too. So. Some more vases. Some more candles. 
This they always have out. They haven't changed that display in quite some time. Some were decor pieces. I think they're awesome in themselves. The candle holders I'm absolutely in love with. These hampers I thought were really nice for the price. They were $11 a piece. They felt like a really thick plastic. They didn't feel like they would uh, break very easily. I do like these mats. I always pick up door mats at Target or even Walmart. Walmart has uh, ones for cheaper. These soap bars reminded me of the soap bars from Dollar Tree. If anybody remembers, Dollar Tree used to sell some brand of soap all the time. Well, it wasn't just soap. They had uh, bath salts and all. I forget what it was, but that's what it reminded me of. Their native collection. I was wondering if anybody tried just a few shots ago. There was a shampoo and conditioner called Monday, I believe it was. I wonder if anybody has tried that. I would really like to try that brand, I think. They have a lot of different wet brushes. I haven't bought a new brush in a long time, probably since Bella was a baby. I did not know that wet brush came out with so many different kinds now. These Revlon hair dyes were interesting colors. I thought they were pretty cool in themselves. And these, uh, these palettes right here I thought were interesting colors. And at the end of the trip, this is everything we bought. I did pick up that cup. I found this tray at the dollar spot, the five and below, whatever you want to call a spot. But I thought this would be really cool for the holidays. It was $5. Can you guys see that? $5. I ended up picking up this for my garden. Our praying mantises have not hatched yet, and we are getting just bombarded with aphids. The kids thought the s'mores Oreos would be good, so they picked those up. There goes the speaker and the cup. I picked up the coral looking cup. I think I said pink, but it's more like coral. Anyway, that's the one I picked up. I did pick up the reversible food tray. These trays, they are so cute. I can't wait to use those. And those pineapple plates. So we didn't pick up much this time around, but that KitchenAid was enough in itself. And it is actually the next day that I'm filming this last part because it was a busy day yesterday. We went to go see the Mario movie, which everybody loved. So I hope that you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.